Hubble and Web Images. Hubble's visible, ultraviolet, and a portion of near-infrared vision together with the web's near and mid-infrared views provides us with stunning cosmic images, the likes of which we have only imagined. Pillars of Creation by Hubble The iconic view of the so-called Pillars of Creation are three giant columns of cold gas bathed in the scorching ultraviolet light from a cluster of young, massive stars in a small region of the Eagle Nebula. These pillars are part of the Eagle Nebula, also called M16, a nearby star-forming region 6,500 light-years away from Earth in the constellation Serpens. Stars are being born deep inside the pillars, which are made of cold hydrogen gas laced with dust. Pillars of Creation by Webb the pillars look like arches and spires rising out of a desert landscape, but are filled with semi-transparent gas and dust, and ever-changing. This is a region where young stars are forming, or have barely burst from their dusty cocoons as they continue to form. The fingers are roughly 5 light years long. This eerie landscape is captured by the web's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. Mid-infrared light specializes in detailing where dust and gas is. Here, the densest areas of dust are the darkest shades of gray, while the red region toward the top is where the dust is diffuse and cooler. NIRCAM, near-infrared camera, and MIRI, mid-infrared instrument, composite image. Webb's near-infrared image was fused with its mid-infrared image, setting this star-forming region ablaze with new details. Hubble image in ultraviolet and visible light, and Webb image in near-infrared light, side by side. Crab Nebula is an expanding remnant of a star's supernova explosion. Japanese and Chinese astronomers recorded this violent event in 1054 AD. The glowing relic has been expanding since the star exploded, and it is now approximately 11 light-years in width. Crab Nebula is located in the constellation Taurus, 6,500 light-years away. Southern Ring Planetary Nebula, NGC 3132 NGC 3132 is a striking example of a planetary nebula. This expanding cloud of gas and shells of dust, surrounding a dying sun-like star, is known to amateur astronomers in the Southern Hemisphere as the Eight Burst, or the Southern Ring Nebula. The name, Planetary Nebula, refers only to the round shape that many of these objects show when examined through a small visual telescope. These nebulae have little or nothing to do with planets, but are instead huge shells of gas ejected by stars as they near the ends of their lifetimes. At left, the near-infrared image shows a bright white star at the center with long diffraction spikes. At right, the mid-infrared image shows two stars at the center very close to one another. The one at left is red, the one at right is light blue. It is nearly half a light year in diameter, and at a distance of about 2000 light years is one of the nearer known planetary nebulae. The gases are expanding away from the central star. Ring Nebula, M57, NGC 6720 The Ring Nebula is a well-known planetary nebula, the glowing remains of a sun-like star. The tiny white dot in the center of the nebula is the star's hot core, called a white dwarf. The nebula is located in the constellation Lyra. 
the structure measures roughly one light year across. Formed by a star throwing off its outer layers as it runs out of fuel, the Ring Nebula is an archetypal planetary nebula. This image from Webb's NIRCAM reveals an intricate details of the filament structure of the inner ring. Also known as M57 and NGC 6720, it is relatively close to Earth at roughly 2,500 light years away. Webb's MIRI reveals particular details in the concentric features in the outer regions of the nebulae's ring. Cartwheel Galaxy This image of the cartwheel and its companion galaxies is from Webb's near-infrared camera, NIR cam, left and mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, right. This galaxy formed as the result of a high-speed collision that occurred about 400 million years ago. The cartwheel is composed of two rings, a bright inner ring and a colorful outer ring. Both rings expand outward from the center of the collision like shock waves. Webb's and IR cam and MIRI composite image, which reveals details that are difficult to see in the individual images alone. A rare and spectacular head-on collision between two galaxies appears in this Hubble's true color and Webb's near and mid-infrared composite image of the Cartwheel Galaxy, located 500 million light-years away in the constellation Sculptor. The top half of this image shows the galaxy as seen by Hubble in visible light, while the lower half of this image shows the Webb's infrared view. Phantom Galaxy, M74 Is a spiral galaxy located around 32 million light-years away in the constellation Pisces, and lies almost face-on to Earth. This image is divided evenly into three different views of the same region in the Phantom Galaxy. At left is an optical view taken by Hubble. At right is a mid-infrared image from Webb. The middle view contained combined Webb and Hubble data. Spiral Galaxy NGC 628 Hubble's image of NGC 628 shows a densely populated face-on spiral galaxy anchored by its central region, which has a light yellow haze that takes up about a quarter of the view. The galaxy is 32 million light-years away in the constellation Pisces. Webb's image shows a densely populated face-on spiral galaxy anchored by its central region, which has a light blue haze that takes up about a quarter of the view. Phason Spiral Galaxy, NGC 628, is split diagonally in this image, Webb's observations appear at top left, and the Hubble's on bottom right. Webb and Hubble's images show a striking contrast, an inverse of darkness and light. Webb's observations combine near and mid-infrared light and Hubble's showcase visible light. Dust absorbs ultraviolet and visible light, and then re-emits it in the infrared. In Webb's images, we see dust glowing in infrared light. In Hubble's images, dark regions are where starlight is absorbed by dust. Spiral Galaxy NGC 1512 A face-on barred spiral galaxy NGC 1512 image in visible and ultraviolet light by Hubble. The galaxy image in a combined near and mid-infrared light by Webb. The spiral galaxy is split diagonally in this image, the Webb's observations appear at top left, and the Hubble's on bottom right. NGC 1512 is 30 million light-years away in the constellation Horology.
Stefan's Quintet, HCG 92. This portrait of Stefan's Quintet, also known as Hickson Compact Group 92, was taken by Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, WFC 3. The image was taken in visible and near infrared light. Stefan's Quintet, as the name implies, is a group of five galaxies. The name, however, is a bit of a misnomer. Studies have shown that group member NGC 7320, at upper left, is actually a foreground galaxy about seven times closer to Earth than the rest of the group. Spied by Edward M. Stefan in 1877, Stefan's Quintet is the first compact group ever discovered. Although called a quintet, only four of the galaxies are truly close together and caught up in a cosmic dance. The fifth and leftmost galaxy, called NGC 7320, is well in the foreground compared with the other four. NGC 7320 resides 40 million light years from Earth, while the other four galaxies, NGC 7317, NGC 7318A, NGC 7318B, and NGC 7319, are about 290 million light years away. This is still fairly close in cosmic terms, compared with more distant galaxies billions of light years away. Galaxy Cluster Max 0416 This side-by-side -side comparison of Galaxy Cluster Max 0416 as seen by Hubble in optical light, left, and Webb in infrared light, right, reveals different details. This panchromatic view of Galaxy Cluster Max 0416 was created by combining infrared observations from Webb with visible light data from Hubble. Hubble and Webb Images, 